So this is your assembly instructions. At the top here, you'll read from left to right. This is your parts list. On it, you'll find all the different objects inside your box. A to S. I have A, which is the seat back for the gaming chair. B. I'll just put A and B right there. Uh, feels pretty heavy. This is probably the mechanism. C. Gas lift lever. And the gas lift lever. That's right. Gas lift cover is right here. And oh. Here's the mechanism. C. Gas lift cover. Is, that, is this the headrest or the lumbar? It's the lumbar. Here's the headrest. Angle adjuster. So here's the. These are armrests. The angle adjuster would have to be that one. This is the angle adjuster maybe. Okay, I don't see the caster wheel so it's probably in that box. And then the armrests. Armrest. Then you have the base. Okay, here's the fun part. Here's where all your screws and your tool is very important do not uh, only take them out when you need them because if you take them out now you're not going to be able to tell what they are so you got extra parts in here these are uh, to cover the screw holes so we'll keep these uh, together the way they are throughout the whole process you have four pieces of M58s. You gotta find those on there. There's one, two, three, four. M820, 12 pieces. Right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then you have M825, which is eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then your spare. I'm going to lay them back in order so you can take a video of this next. So you can wait until you don't want, people don't want to sit there and watch a 10 minute video of me taking things apart, you know what I mean? The angle adjuster and the other side. You gotta, they're just parts. Just be careful when you're cutting near the parts so you don't accidentally slice into the fabric or the material and you gotta scratch. Start over here because you put it all over here. 
So you have your your seat back and your seat. Okay. All right, this is the mechanism. Not much to it. You just have to screw it into the bottom of the seat. Okay. Here's your gas lift cover. I'll show you the gas lift later on. I'm going in order with the with the list. So here's the head headrest, the angle adjuster, the caster wheels, the wrench with all the with all the bolts that we talked about. Here's the armrests. Here's the base. Here's the lumbar pillow and the gas lift. You just do that right away so so you can get that going and then uh, here's the connector this is, will be on the opposite side of the angle adjuster and then these uh, dust covers cover the angle adjuster and the connector both sides so for step one I just need this. Step one. The base. Step one. Put it face down on the ground. And then take the caster wheels out one at a time. Okay, we are now on step two. We're gonna install the gas lift and insert gas lift cover, which I already did. Not much to it. That's how it goes. It's in, maybe it is. That's it, step two. Align F and M with the holes of seat, then tighten screws. We're using M825 screws. All right, so your M825 screws will mount the angle adjuster and the connector on, on these holes. You have to make sure though that um, everything's oriented uh, going that way because when you sit in the chair, the chair is going that way. So like the chair that I'm sitting in, this is the angle adjuster, lets you lean back. And then, do that see this oh, okay. so you okay. line it so you line this up with these two holes here okay I want to see go I want to look around so they will not be confused okay so that's the back part, that's the back part. Okay. for this one it's going to be the m825 right here so I have four screws on each side one two three four one two three four and that's gonna connect the top part of the chair as well so I'm gonna probably gonna end up using all of these for that so I can take all these out right now but leave these in I want to take this out so I can use it to tighten So one screw at a time. You don't want to you don't want to tighten just one right away. You want to leave it loose so you can get the other screw in first. Once you get the other screw in, tighten away to your heart's content. And 
not sure why they have that like this this part right here why it's longer than the other side again same thing Yeah, just tight enough to where it's not going to fall apart when you sit in it. That's good. So for this one, you have the M58 screws. We have to get them out of here. There's only uh, it's only four pieces. And I'm pretty sure they're the only ones designated for connecting the dust covers. Yeah, screws for dust cover. <laughs> now I gotta figure out which one it goes. So, alright. You have two different dust covers for the connector and the angle adjuster. The bigger one is for the, the angle adjuster because it's got bigger moving parts. So just like the picture shows it kind of looks different in the diagram. Figure out how this snaps into place or So there's a screw hole right there. That's where this one goes. And then this is gonna be over the top of this one. But I just gotta figure out why I can't get it to snap into place or if it even needs to be snapped in place or if it goes over it. trying to figure this out all right I like to put the tool on first kind of oops as I drop it in and then I just turn it until it feels like it's screwing in So same as that one, line it up with the hole, drop the tool in, drop the screw, Oops. dropping things today, line it up with the hole, drop it in there. It says to align F and M with holes of back and then tighten screws. So we're gonna get the back over here and it's, uh, the direction should be obvious.
Alright, so same same with these, line up the holes. Make sure that it does suggest them M825s. There's a reason why they use different screws at different depths because the way they have it built. You don't want to put longer screws in here because then you'll have screws hanging out and it'll be loose. This, this one, because this is all connected, I'm going to go ahead and put the other two screws in. Before I tighten. Looks like the the chair leather is messing with the hole, so I have to move the leather out of the way. Okay, we're in. Where's the other hole? For step six, it just says to add the, the, the other two dust covers. So, one way you can tell which one is the bigger one, which one needs a little more, more depth, is probably going to be the angle adjuster. So, the narrow one goes on the left side on the connector so what it, screws are you okay, using? okay so this piece right here snaps into place over this part right here that little hole so you can just push it in oh. and then what screw are you using? It, the rest takes uh, so I'm using the what screw is it? I'm using the dust cover screws. I think it came with eight. Same thing. Snaps into place. So these are little caps, they just snap into place, covers those up, makes them look nice and This one didn't come with the Bluetooth. This is just a basic gaming chair, no no Bluetooth speakers. Step is to install the mechanism and armrests using the M820 screws. face this towards the front so we're gonna face that towards the front of the chair you have four main screws right here 
And then you have four main screws for the armrests on both sides. Okay, we're going to use the M820 screws. Four for each. Four for each. It even has a sticker that says front facing towards the front of the chair. Can't mess this up. Line up the holes. out which one is left and which one is right they already put the sticker on there but because it's made in China I want to make yeah. sure so if I'm sitting in if I visualize myself sitting in the chair I know that's my left side so what I want to find out now is if if uh, people in China put this thing together correctly I guess it what did I use that's the right. Yeah. That's the right. So you can kind of... Is there like a right R? It says R? Yeah, it says R. Okay, that's R. Just want to make sure the people that assembled these put them together correctly, that's all. Alright, now that I got the right... I have to put the screws in. Same thing. What screws are those? M820. 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 For everything. For because they they have, they have the right amount of screws for this bottom part. So you can you can adjust adjust this so if you want if you want it more in because you want to sit your elbows in tighter you can adjust it so it's all the way in that way. Okay. To, Now it's saying place the seat on the gas lift, which I did uh, put the gas lift on the chair first and it got stuck, but that's okay. Cause I'm just gonna, I don't like the way <laughs> doing it this way anyway. Uh, I'm just gonna put, since the chair is upside down anyway, I'm just gonna put the base over the, the gas lift. Much easier, you can see it, it's right there. Instead of lifting the heavy chair, you go over the bottom like so. And then 
flip it right side up. So this is pretty easy. This goes in through the holes. Your pillow is smaller than mine. You can adjust if you want it up here. I don't know why you would want to do that, but put it down here. Okay. Okay. If you want the chair to go up. This is my chair now. What, what did you push? This button back here. Oh, okay. If you want it to go down, you just, then you raise it up. Mm -hmm. And these, these go up and down. Then, like, so you just you want can, at the back. How about the back? You can mm -hmm. lean back. Okay, and this is your oh, okay. your e e brake. <sighs> Wake up from my nap. 